Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, let's go to Laura in Montana. Laura, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, first time I've called. My husband is an engineer with ExxonMobil who is also a member of the AE911 group. And I was a Bay Area as an account executive for Pacific Bell when the politicians started getting heavily involved in telecommunications and trying to learn what our capabilities were. Now, that's just a little bit of my background, but I just wanted to caution you or your listeners not to just always immediately believe someone who calls into the show just because they say they come from Russia. Um, The caller you had on earlier could have been a neo-Nazi Ukrainian who wants to run Putin down. Um, I wanted to say that you had also... I mean, obviously, everybody knows that everybody that calls in can be making stuff up. People have to gauge the validity of what they're saying for themselves. Yes, I mean, go ahead. He made the allegation that Putin was a supporter of the New World Order and a supporter even of homosexuality to some extent. But Putin supported the anti-homosexual propaganda law. And uh, aside from that, I did want to say his appra- uh, approval rating, as you had mentioned a couple of days ago, uh, was an 85 percent, but it's not quite true that it's because directly of the Crimean situation. I read a book called The Russian Populist that was recommended off the Lou Rockwell website, written by Matthew Johnson. I highly recommend it. Anyway, I learned a lot about it, and Putin's uh, approval rating has been 80 to 85 percent for the past four years, and one of the reasons it's so high is because Russia's economic growth rate has been increasing at 8% per year for the last four years. So I think that's the correlation. But, uh, and it's true the Russians are not as wealthy as Americans, but their lot in life has improved, apparently, and uh, it's still better than the Ukrainians. But uh, he also, the, the U.S. and the ruling class elites that you always talk about, the CFR owners, hate pews. Putin, as we've talked about before for several reasons, his stance against them, invading Syria and Iran, he was against that, and his influence that he's had with Yanukovych over staying out of the EU. Um, but he also has refused entrance to Russia of the NGOs, and we know what they do. They try to destroy the unity within a country, and then, as you mentioned before, put up their puppet. Uh, oligarchs into power if they can get away with it. Right now, we have an independent Russia task force in the CFR, and that was listed. All the members are listed in this book, which I'd like to send uh, to you a copy uh, because I know you're a voracious reader. At the end of my call, if somebody could take... Uh, I'm not as voracious as I used to be. I mean, listen to books on tape, but, but yeah, just send me the name of it or, or, or send me the passages, photocopy them. Thank you so much. Very interesting, Laura. Um, I know that guy could be a fake caller. I, I, I don't think he was a fake caller. I mean, I think he really meant what he was saying, but but I hear what you're saying. Uh, let's talk to Tom in New York. I don't know if I can get to Travis. I'm sorry, but uh, go ahead, uh, Tom. You're on the air. Oh, yeah. I've been uh, hearing uh, a lot of stuff about the legality of this uh, Crimea referendum. And uh, uh, I've personally witnessed uh, at least two similar referendums just north in Quebec uh, some years back. I can't really see any difference between the, uh, the you know, the... Well, that's right. It's been part of Russia um, previously, and they voted 96-plus percent. So, I, I mean, the fact that the euro is promoting referendums everywhere else, but then saying this one's illegal, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty amazing. Right. Yeah, I mean, nobody uh, made mention of uh, the uh, Quebec referendum in any way being illegal. But it would, would have given, uh, it was uh, just a provincial-wide referendum, which would have given them the right to succeed from Canada. Uh, you know, either set up their own republic or, uh, 
you know, some other situation. Yeah, that failed, but, though. The Globals were behind that. I'm out of time, brother. Thank you so much. Back tonight, 7 o'clock. God bless you all. The number one secret to having great health and long life is having high levels of glutathione. This master antioxidant is required by your body to stop free radicals, keep cells.